All right, so you got your prod and stage environment set up, but what if sometimes you want to stage more stuff without interfering with whatever is already staged and you don't have any infra set up and you don't want to stop everything you're doing and get your hands dirty? Well, now you don't have to. There's a new player in town that can set up preview environments for you exactly how you need them. And I'm not talking about all that off the shelf stuff like Heroku or Fly. I'm talking about someone listening to your needs and setting it up exactly as you want. It can even be on-prem if that's what you're into. Let's roll the intro. Hey, Vlad here from devinsideu.com. Welcome to another video. It's been almost a month since my last video and I'm glad to be back with something special. If you're new here, you should know that this is mostly a Scala channel and one of those Scala dinosaurs, like me, reached out to me about his new awesome project that he has built. His name is Alexis Hernandez and he's been contributing to the Scala ecosystem since 2016. He created a couple of Scala.js related templates, he blogs about Scala, he speaks at conferences, and he also runs his own Scala consultancy called Wiring Bits. In fact, this entire video is sponsored by him in addition to scalajobs.com, rustjobs.dev, and many awesome people like you who support me on platforms like Patreon, GitHub sponsors, or the YouTube membership program. Your contributions allow me to pay for a video editor who frees some of my time, which I then again spend with you, whether it's during live streams or answering your questions on Discord. There's many of you and only one of me, so all it takes is a dollar. Thank you. All right, now the platform that we're talking about today is called Code Preview, and that's not a bug, that's their logo. Code Preview primarily focuses on the JVM, but honestly, you can deploy pretty much anything you like, including those pasky SQS queues, and that's their killer feature. Not the SQS queues, the hands-on customizations and the price is a steal. Whereas most companies would charge you per seat for their services, Code Preview is free for open source projects and for simple setups, it's like a 50 bucks flat rate fee. I doubt that there is any solution out there which is as cheap and as flexible as Code Previews. I can't stress the flexibility enough. You wanna see the database on every preview? You wanna host it on your own servers? How about your own domain? You wanna manage secrets? How about password protected environments. I'm starting to sound like an infomercial. You get the idea. The sky is the limit because there are actual people behind the scenes who will hold your hand throughout the entire process. Obviously you get dashboards, logs, swagger endpoints, the whole enchilada. The primary use case is experimentation. For instance, you might have a new HTTP endpoint that you want to expose to a very specific front-end dev, or you might be a front-end dev yourself and you want to demo some stuff to a subset of your stakeholders, or you might want to try out a completely new stack without messing with your existing environment. You'll never replace the database, they said. All right, let's get to the demo portion. Over the years, I've built and rebuilt this Hello World level to-do app. First it was object-oriented, and then it was rewritten to the final Tegla style, then it was rewritten yet again to Zeo, and now I've upgraded it to Scala 3.3 LTS. Honestly, no reason, I just wanted to freshen it up for this video. It's backed by a Postgres database, and since it was created for educational purposes, it's very simple. There's no authentication, there's not even logging. I went to codepreview.io, created an account, simple email and password, and I received a message saying that I will be contacted via email. We set up a call and literally the next day I received a PR with instructions to add a couple of secrets to my repo and there it was. Now the main branch with further three more branches get deployed every time there is a push or a new PR. The four slots are recycled and I could even pin a couple of them if I wanted to. By the way, this whole thing will stay up for a while, so if you feel like sending a couple of requests, be my guest. As already mentioned, there's no authentication or anything. In the future, you won't even need to add secrets. There will be a GitHub app that will manage them for you. And that's it. Now every time there is a new environment, a bot posts a new comment with the links to it. The all was set up just for demo purposes and therefore the stack is very simple. I can't even show you the logs because I don't have any. But as already mentioned, you can deploy an entire fleet of whatever you need on codepreview.io. Here's a screenshot from another repo with more links in the comment. And that's all I got for you today. Take code preview for a spin and let me know if you liked it. I hope you enjoyed this one, check out the previous one and I see you in the next one. For now, as always, it's been Vlad from devinsideu.com. Don't forget to like this video if you did, subscribe if you want to improve the developer inside you. And if you wish to contribute to tech education, please consider doing so on platforms like Patreon, GitHub sponsors, or by clicking the join button below the video and watch my videos before everyone else. And most importantly, take care.